so a lot of you have asked about my Lunar, Minecraft, OBS, and Vega settings. All of these will be showcased in this video. If you enjoy, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. It means a lot and it would really motivate me to continue to create more videos and better content. I'm gonna start off with the Minecraft settings since not everyone uses Lunar. My FOV is 80. For music, I have the master volume at 15%, music off, and everything else at 100%. For video settings, uh, you guys can copy this right now. I think the most important thing for me is that I have view bobbing off and dynamic FOV off. I don't use shaders, even though I have a lot. You guys can copy my detail settings here. Also, make sure to have sky set to off, because if you keep the sky on, then the bottom half will just look like this. But if you turn the sky off, then the bottom half of the sky will appear. For my animations, everything is enabled besides fire particles because I actually play Quake and the particles get kind of distracting. For quality, you guys can copy this. Make sure to have custom sky on and custom GUI. And then for performance, I have smooth FPS off, fast render off, smooth world off, but I have fast math on, render regions on, smart animations on, and then I have these two off. For other, I just use full screen, and I think that's it. So for my sensitivity, I use 87% sensitivity, and my DPI is at 800. So my hotbar slot 7 through 9 is X, C, and V, rather than 7, 8, 9. Uh, my emote wheel for Lunar is G. Toggle perspective I have as left alt or left menu, and zoom I have set to Z. Now I'm gonna go on to the lunar settings. I'm gonna do the actual settings first and then the HUD. So you have to press right shift and then go to settings and then settings at the top. One huge thing is to disable notify friend status. Lunar added a update that notifies you every time your friend's online and it gets kind of annoying. So just disable that if you want. I have all of these on. Borderless full screen is on, transparent background is on. It's pretty much it. I have these set to white, like just like at the top here. And then my background color, the opacity is all the way at the bottom. For performance, I have these settings. And then for the controls, they're all default besides the emote wheel, which I changed to G instead of B. Waypoints, I have none. Now let's go on to the HUD. So at the top left, I have my coordinates. I'll let you guys copy these settings. The base color is white. The background color is a little bit below halfway. Same with the border color. And then the rest are white. In the middle, I have my FPS. Tech shadow is on. Everything else is off. And then it's all white and same thing here it's a little bit below halfway but the border color is here for my keystrokes i have show spacebar and show movement keys enabled and for the text color it's white when it's pressed the opacity is all the way up but it's like black the color is black and then the background color a little bit below halfway and when pressed the opacity is here the keystrokes are separate from the FPS, so I'll let you guys copy this. The line color is here, and then I have toggle sprint. I have everything enabled besides toggle sneak, and then the text color is just white. Also for the potion effects, I have all of these disabled, and then I have all of these enabled. I think they're all white. Yeah. The text color and the duration color are both white. And then the armor status have vertical, text shadow, item count, show while typing, and then damage overlay. And then these are default. The scoreboard, I have the scale set to 1.17. Um, I would suggest hiding the numbers because they're kind of ugly in my opinion. And then background color is the opacity is here. And then the border color a little bit above halfway. Now I'm going to move on to uh, the other modules that are not just the HUD. So for 1.7 visuals, I enabled everything. 
but I disabled the mechanics use item while digging because it takes longer to break blocks when you're holding a pickaxe or a, an axe. My hit armor color is the color set here. Um, item physics, I have the rotation speed set to 0.5. For zoom, disabled these two, enabled these two. I don't really use Nikiter. <laughs> like, all the options are disabled. It doesn't really matter. And one huge thing that a lot of people ask for is the crosshair. Um, it's the same one me, Max, and Luvinox use. But since I play on a normal GUI, I have the size set to 1.5 rather than 2.5 or like 2. So make sure to enable the dot because if you don't, then there's like gonna be a gap at the middle. Also, make sure the gap is at 0 or it will just look like that and the colors are white. For block outline, I have everything set to black at the highest opacity, and then the block outline width is all the way at 10. I disabled block overlay and enabled block outline. My particle multiplier is two, and then I enabled everything, all of these options. Time changer is honestly all personal preference, but for me, I like this pack's day sky, so I turn it all the way up. And then, I guess free look, I disabled all of these, and then the E is set to F. Also, my menu blur is all default, so I enabled that. I should disable it though. Yeah, I'm gonna disable it. Okay, I think that's it for the lunar settings. I do have multiple profiles, but this is my main one. So, I'm gonna go on to my OBS settings and my Vegas settings right now. I have my rate control at CQP, and the CQ level is at 15, zero keyframe interval. I have it at max quality, and the profile is high. These two options are disabled, and then the rest is set to zero. For audio, I have the desktop audio set to default, and then all of these disabled. For video, I have both the base and output resolution set to 1920 by 1080 And then for the downscale filter, I use bilinear. I also use fractional FPS. I record at 240 FPS. Um, my hotkeys... This is my save replay hotkey. I think that's the only hotkey I have. And then for advanced, I have the process priority set to normal. Um, the renderer is direct 3D 11. And then, yeah, here are the... Uh, other settings. Okay, here are my Vegas settings. I record in 1920 by 1080 in 60 FPS. The full resolution rendering quality is at best. The motion blur is Gaussian. It's smart sample and then blend fields. For my actual render settings, here's the format and then I'll just click customize template. I record in 720 by 1080. I have this enabled. My frame rate is 59.940. I record in 240 million bps for the bitrate. I also have these settings enabled so my renders are faster than they usually would be. Here's my system and then project I have at best. Use project settings and then default color space.